Macy is a park ranger who wants to know the height of a giant sequoia tree. She has her walking stick with her, but it's also a measuring stick. It's 1.5 meters long. Macy measures the length of the shadow of the tree. The tree's shadow is 12 meters long. Then Macy sticks her walking stick straight in the ground and marks where its shadow ends. She measures this distance, 0.4 meters. Are these two triangles similar? And does Macy have enough information to find the height of the tree? Let's first see if triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. We know that the tree is perpendicular to the ground. That means angle B is a right angle. And Macy stuck her stick in the ground at a right angle as well, so angle E is right. We also know that the angle of elevation from the ground to the sun at the same time of day is the same for both the tree and the stick. That means angle A is congruent to angle D. Two pairs of congruent angles mean that these triangles are similar by the angle-angle similarity postulate. So can we find the height of the tree? Yes. Similar triangles have proportional sides. That means the ratio of the vertical lengths is equal to the ratio of the horizontal lengths. Let's call the tree height H. When writing proportions, be sure and match corresponding sides correctly. Here we can write the ratio of tree shadow to stick shadow. That's 12 over 0.4. That equals the ratio of tree height to stick height, h over 1.5. We can solve this proportion quickly by cross-multiplying. 0.4h equals 12 times 1.5. So 0.4h equals 18. Dividing by 0.4 gives us 45 meters. Wow, that's really tall. 45 meters is over 25 times the height of an average adult. Incredible! You can find the height of anything with just a measuring stick on a sunny day. Use similar triangles and proportions to solve for the great unknowns in the great outdoors.